I want to examine some socioeconomic issues. Inflation is running high in Western nations. The U.S. experienced the highest rate in 40 years at 8.6% in May, whereas Germany experienced 7.9%. What in your assessment is, it, is driving this? Is it the war in Ukraine, Western sanctions, workers' wages, or the fossil fuel cartels' greed for profitability? Some even claim social spending due to COVID is now causing inflation. What can be done to protect the public and how do you assess inflation? Well, first of all, the high inflation was prior to the Ukraine invasion. That exacerbated it, but not by very much. You look at the figures, it was almost as high before. Uh, there's a lot of debate among economists of what's, what's causing it. But the basic consensus, I think, is that the main factor that's causing it is supply chain disruptions. Uh, the globalization, the neoliberal globalization project followed business principles. That means try to be as efficient as possible. Don't waste anything. Well, that's a, a program for disaster. It means if anything goes wrong, everything collapses. We're seeing that dramatically in the United States with the health system, not so much in Germany. The United States has a scandalous health system to run on business principles no excess capacity, no excess bids, because that's uh, not efficient. So what happens when COVID comes? No, no bids in the hospitals, no resource for testing. In you work by business principles, you can be efficient as long as nothing goes wrong. Okay, as soon as it does, disaster. Uh, you have uh, container ships in the piled up in the Los Angeles Harbor and can't unload. No. Well, all of this is combining with the fact that during the pandemic, the worst of the pandemic, people were cutting down on spending. On uh, Now there's a lot, tremendous amount of demand. Supplies aren't coming in. Yes, you get inflation. There's another factor. Uh, the monopolization that was the result of the neoliberal programs and the uh, uh, and their or or the you know the German equivalents of that and so on austerity. The uh, these have all led to sharply reduced regulation and increased concentration of economic power on almost every domain, agriculture, manufacturing, energy, sharp move towards monopolization. Well, monopolization means you have the capacity to raise prices uh, and they're doing it. There's tremendous corporate profits in the last couple of years. A large part of it is just they're free to raise prices as much as they want. That's a major factor in inflation. Uh, energy, uh, the agriculture, just about every area. Well, all of these things combined, you have uh, serious economic problems.